I had a problem with a Zoom where the AirPods disconnected from the computer. So I was pretty unhappy. Today we're gonna to show you a bunch of IEMs. I've come to find out that you can enjoy the quality of these IEMs as well as providing yourself some good noise isolation from your surroundings. I'm aiming to online meetings, to listening to music, stuff like that, and doing a lot of research online, including YouTube channels and stations. We've noticed that there's a bunch of good options out there, and we wanted to bring you a good selection and demo them, show them to you, and then let you know what our top recommendation is. So we decided to get a variety of units, starting off down here in the bottom right. This is the Linsole KZ ZS10 Pro X, kind of a mouthful there. But these are a dynamic driver. There's two drivers that are gonna be in this. One's gonna be planar, magnetic, and the other one's gonna be dynamic. Usually planar is more expensive or more advanced and the dynamic is an older style, but it's interesting to see how these match up. And this unit is dynamic. It is from Linsole and it's about $56 on Amazon as of today. On top of that, we have the next level up, which is the Letcher S12 right here. Now this is actually the nicer planar magnetic IEM. So this price on Amazon is about 120 bucks. Then next level up in price is the Sennheiser IE200, which is very interesting that it's actually $150, but it's the dynamic driver, not technically the newer technology, but we wanted to bring that into the mix because of the name. On top of that, there's a bunch of other Sennheisers you can get, but this is just a good option to look at. And then we're going to get over to the most expensive in this list, which is the seven Hertz by Linsole, the timeless. And so all these are gonna be in the description for links to them at Amazon. And we're gonna go through each unit and show you how uh, they come out of the box as well as if we end up liking them or not. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these units from here and start off with the cheapest. We specifically picked this unit because of great reviews from other YouTubers as well as other online reviews as a good unit for about $56. There's a unit that's a KKZ ZS10 Pro. This one is the Pro X. We wanted to make sure to use this newer unit for the purposes of getting the little better upgrades so here we got the cover removed. This is the unit on the inside. And off the bat, these really look much cooler than they do when you're looking at them on Amazon. These look pretty cool. They're, they go inside your ear and give you a really good fit. At least you're supposed to. And off the bat, that one fits pretty awesome, actually, with the ear tip. So, here we go. Now, there's a bunch of things to look at with these. So there's, how does the ear tip connect into your ear? Does it create a good seal? I am in no way an audiophile, which you've most likely already figured out from the beginning of this video. I'm just gonna be using this primarily for connecting to my computer. I had a problem with a Zoom call using AirPods, where the AirPods disconnected Bluetooth from the computer and either didn't want to come back or it wanted to connect to my cell possibly. So I was pretty unhappy and ended up calling in to the call just to clarify and get a little bit better audio than having the audio from my webcam, which is pretty bad. So once it happened, I said, I'm going to go ahead and research some headsets. And I figured out, hey, I am not going to stick to Bluetooth. I'm going to try to get something wired, something more stable that will not bring the connection down and give me a better solution. And then also 
something I can utilize a separate mic for. Some of these you can actually purchase with a mic, but according to what I've heard and seen, you probably don't want to use a mic on one of these. So we'll probably make another video on a device or a couple of devices that we recommend for the actual microphone. So pulled everything out here. This is a pretty cool cable here. It's pretty basic, but it seems pretty soft to the touch and movable. Yeah, I don't think it would have major issues, but I believe this is a special connector. Yeah, this seems like a really nice cable for the KZ ZS10 Pro X from Linsole. And if we look here, oh, it's a fixed, this is pretty fixed, so you can't actually tighten it on yourself, but so here pretty much generally has two connectors. that snap in. <laughs> Seem pretty cool. So now that we've set these up, we're gonna move off to the side here. The next item here is going to be the $120 Letsure S12 right here. So well, these are the brand new units. This are also, if you remember, they are planar magnetic. And so this will just slide out here. This is a little bit nicer boxing than the KZZS10 Pro X. So we'll go ahead and open this up. Yeah, these look pretty sweet. I forgot to mention that in the KZZS10 there was a bag of other ear tips. This has a little plastic box of different ear tips here, about three different sizes. And man, these look so different than on the Amazon picture. These look pretty sweet. That these feel heavier than these other ones. Obviously, these are plastic. These are more than likely a some form of metal, probably. This is pretty pretty awesome right here. Let's pop these out. Comes with a few documents, including this multilingual instruction manual. And what seems cool is that the lead shirt comes with a case to hold carry it. So it's kind of a lot of value there. And stored in the case. And not really that much critical in here. Got a nice little card for registration of the unit after you purchase it. And scan a QR code for more information and a product certificate. This is the case. More than likely the cables in it. There it is. This cable's kind of pretty cool too. Uh, let's see. It's got a good feel to it. It's this braided cable and it looks pretty cool. This plug. So this does have a little movable adjustment so that you can either pull this up to your chin so you can 
hold on to them a little better. And in here. Seems like you're gonna hurt something, but it's pretty good. It's in there. And just connecting it with these two. Here, let's see what else they came with. Ah, they even have additional, wow, so many ear tips. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. And these seem to be, it's really like a foam. These are more like rubber. Two different kinds of rubber. I'm going to try the ones that came in the nicer case, only because they came in a nicer case. These seem to be that you have to put a little bit of pressure to get them to connect. Okay, so these units are ready to go. They give you that nice little sounding there, the sound of that feeling. They're tapping, pretty nice. Go ahead and put this off to the side. Close this up. this all back together. Okay, so now we have that complete. Next item here is going to be the Sennheiser IE 200 that we have. And pretty much comes like a lot of the other Sennheiser devices would come. It seems like it's pretty decent. I know a lot of people that are not audiophiles would also know the name Sennheiser due to their good other headphones and other audio gear that they have. As I go ahead and pull this open. Now, these look pretty sweet too. Let's see. So on the bottom here, we do have a carrying case, which is nice. And a bunch of tips and kind of like a paper bag. Got the instruction manual here. A lot of interesting writing on here. Multiple different languages. QR code there if you want to scan that to find out some information about it. And it says that they want feedback about the unit. So we're going to go ahead and pull this out. I guess this one comes ready to go. Yeah. Everything pretty much connected. Pretty cool, they feel super light. 
which I don't know if it's bad or good, but we'll find out with the process of testing them out. Let's see. Yeah, another reviewer online had said that this was extremely cheap feeling. It's just a basic little tube that you can pull up and down. And they didn't really love this cable, but it doesn't look too bad. It's just extremely thin, very light, even much lighter. For sure, lighter than the Letcher S12. This is a pretty burly cable and competing with the $56 KZ ZS10 Pro X. One thing to note is that's an interesting comparison. I know that people probably like the cable to disappear. Not an issue, but we'll see if that's good or not. So we're all set with that. We'll put these off to the side. Okay, and then now we are going to move on to the Timeless, which let me tell you, this is probably the heaviest box and I think it's because it comes with a metallic or some form of metal container or box to hold the unit. So that's going to add to the weight, but I know that the unit itself is probably also heavy. We'll see. Go ahead and as you can tell here, even the picture here and online makes it look so huge. But once I pulled out these other three, until you have them in front of you, you realize, wow, these things are really tiny, which is really good. And the advantages to these are the fact that you can actually pop them in your ear. Other than the feeling that they're in your ear, you can play around with the tips, see what the best thing is. But then you don't have to have headphone hair if you put headphones on. They're very small, they can disappear if you're on a Zoom call, and then you should be able to wear them for a long time if you're working on your computer or listening to music. So I don't know what this looks like. I won a prize, let's see. I don't know what's going on here. I guess they want you to pull this up. Put the red cable. Okay. And there we go. This is an auditory revolution. Headphones are no longer cold equipment. Timeless feels the temperature of music with you. Interesting. It's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, this is really heavy. This metal case. This must be the accessory box. Okay, got a lot of tips there that look crazy. I don't know if they pushed or there's like different sizes. A lot of different tips here. I feel like that's just the job just by itself to figure out which tips are good. So, interesting. Thank you for your support, it says. And looks like a bunch of stuff in most likely Chinese, I think. Yeah. Not really anything we can read. Okay, so that's that. Got some other parts here to note. Must be something that we can change on the inside of these units. And here is the headset. It's not bad. Not that bad of a cable here. Yeah, these are spectacular too. Like these are the planer and this is if you remember this is the $220 unit. Yeah these feel really good. They have a little plastic on there to protect them. And that's it ready to go in the container. And it looks like it does have a little bit of a nicer little object to tighten it against your chin or 
your head that way they don't fall out so these are pretty cool yeah pretty cool so that's where we're at let's see here Now what I'm going to do with these now is I'm going to go ahead and test all of them. See how I like them, use them for a few days each and see is this really worth 220. But the idea is here, if I find out that I can use all of them and that they're functional, then we can say, hey, you have a different level per price. But if one of them seems to be not as good, we'll definitely let you know for sure. These really do feel like they're better units than just using plain old headphones. I'm sure there's still advantages to using the headphones and having those big pads against your ear, but at this point, this is what I'm leaning towards for any type of audio calling, any type of listening to music. Technically, if you want to do any gaming, this would might be a good option that should feel good in your ear. All of these, hopefully, but we'll see. Okay, we'll be back after a few days to let you know how the tests go. And at least now you can kind of see these units and what we're going to be testing. One thing I didn't note was that the Sennheisers also do have an issue with the actual ear buds. And as a recommendation, the SNS ear tips from Dunu, which were $14.95, were suggested to fix the issue. And so According to Giz Audio on YouTube, he recommended these. So we're going to try those out as well to see if that fixes anything. But I wanted to mention that we we're going to be using these with those ear tips. Now for the results after trying these units out for about two weeks. Starting off here, we have the Sennheiser IE 200. They are relatively small, which is very nice. They fit in the ear pretty nicely and they're comfortable inside which is really good then I just noticed a quality problem with the audio that I wasn't loving it maybe it's just preference but I wasn't a big fan of what audio it created that I was listening to I also was a little agitated with the ear loops and as another person on YouTube had mentioned they were unhappy with the cable and the cable is confusing it's very soft and it seems that it would be very nice and comfortable, but it ends up feeling really flimsy. And I believe the other reviewer had mentioned that it's just a matter of time before you damage it. And it seems like that's probably the case that you're gonna possibly damage it because it's extremely cheap or less strong or burly compared to the other cables. Now you could obviously change the cables out, but I wanted a solution that was ready to go and all in one. So this IE 200, I'm going to be for sure returning. Now for the Ledger S12, I thought that they look really cool, which is great. Although when I put them in my ear, I did not necessarily feel the most comfortable with them. I also felt that they may have technically been the largest of the grouping, just giving me that feeling that they are large and almost like protruding out of my ear. And so I pretty much am not a huge fan on that part. I believe that other than that, the quality was decent and the uh, case was very nice that it came with. So that was convenient. And other than that, I'm most likely for sure going to be returning them. Now for the Linsoul KZ-ZS10 Pro X, I am a fan. I felt that they were comfortable and that they were not any trouble to wear for a long period of time. I also was very happy with the price, which is excellent for roughly about 56 bucks or so. I thought initially that they were a little big, but due to them being comfortable and not being that 
bulky at all. I decided that they really were not that large and I feel like this unit I'm going to keep. I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to purchase another one. I'm more than likely going to split this along with um, possibly the 7 hertz unit and use them in different locations. Let's say one in my laptop bag, one at the office, one at the home office, something like that. This is a really good option, especially for only $56. So I was pretty happy with it. I do like the basic black look to it. And so it blended well while in my ear. And even using this unit with a Zoom call and or video editing or any type of music listening, it was just a nice feeling to have it in there. And specifically during the Zoom call, you could really feel that you, do, you can't really see it protruding or anything like that. And it allows you to not really mess up your hair with those large over the ear headphones. Now for the Cadillac of the bunch, the Linsole 7 Hertz Timeless. Truly, I feel that my review of this unit matches a lot of reviews that I've seen on YouTube. This is a spectacular unit. There's just something about them that gives you a nice feeling. They are not that large at all. Uh, they might initially look large like online or in the box picture, but I definitely feel that they just go right into my ear comfortably. The loops are nice. The cable is decent. I'm most likely not going to be switching it. The ear tip fit right out of the box, the one that was right on the units. And I felt that I could use it for the longest time. And actually I'm using that right now as I record this video. And it's just a overall great solution. I do like the case that it came with. It's a little heavy and big because it's metallic, but it really would protect these units and keep them safe. And so I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm going to keep this unit along with the Linsole KZZS10 Pro X as well. And I feel like I'm going to more than likely either carry this one in my bag, that way it's with me at all times, or I'll just figure out a solution to keep, as I mentioned, something at each location. But I'm pretty happy with these. It felt like the music was the best, listening to the music. A little bit of games were decent. And then on top of that, the Zoom calls were great. And really can't tell that the unit's even in your ear unless you're turning a certain way and really this is a nice solution obviously if you're on a zoom call you have to have a good mic solution so i do recommend a relatively expensive option either getting a nice either a blue yeti or some form of mic for your desk that is decent for calls or if you really want to go on the opposite side there's something called the dgi mic that we also made a video for we'll link it in the description as well but it's really an all-in-one solution that allows you to have a portable mic that you can put right on your shirt with a magnet or a clip and you're able to connect it to your cell phone your laptop your desktop really any device an audio input device as well and then stream your voice to it which is pretty awesome so these plus that it's a really good solution but on top of that if you're just looking for headphones I recommend the Linsole KZZS10 Pro X or this 7 Hertz unit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out the rest of our videos because we have a lot of tech tips and news that should help out.